Georgia has come a long way since 2003, when the citizens of this country decided to engage in a massive peaceful assembly, popularly known as the Rose, Re Rose Revolution, that ultimately led to the formation of a new government. This must be recognized and applauded. Specifically, I would like to commend the efforts that led to increased security and safety for all people in Georgia, reduced serious crime, serious violent crime drastically, and reduced petty corruption, especially within the police. These achievements must never be taken for granted. Similarly, the recent legislation related to the status of religious organizations is commendable. And while more steps in this direction are encouraged, it is certainly a good step forward in protecting the rights to religious association. I must emphasize, however, that there are a number of worrying signs that indicate that the general, generally positive trajectory in Georgia could be derailed, and the focus on modernization could lead to a widespread climate of fear, intimidation, and arbitrary restrictions of fundamental freedoms. Given the way the current government was formed, and in light especially of the elections planned for this and the coming year, there is an expectation to especially respect the rights of peaceful assembly and association. Georgia has done well, but it is, a, it is at a critical point where it can take further steps to improve on its record, or it could take the country backwards in terms of human rights. The only way Georgia can continue its path to prosperity, wealth, and security is by respecting human rights and fundamental freedoms. Recent legislative acts, as well as state actions, appear to threaten this path. 